you that wonky mid-game tempo that comes out of support teleporting all over the place. You do oh, have on that. an attempted engage here in the bottom lane. They want to get the stun for the winner's fight. There comes Mike Young, able to find the stun, the first blood, the TSM. Bottom with their level six Sejuani and level six Kalia. Hmm. Let's find out. Thinking emoji. Hello, Matt. There it is, stunned up, brought down. More damage coming in. Matt nearly going to drop. There you go. Now, can they make it two? Contract's going to get himself away. The seismic shove not quite finding the mark. When the fight goes through, the cannon barrage! Oh, but he walks away anyway. Still down for a little while longer. Lorlo and Hauntzer checking in on these guys that we haven't really touched on much so far as Hauntzer finds himself losing a trade for now. Lorlo about to go into Meganar. Who is the carry? Him up into the wall. Hauntzer trying to turn Zinger in the right spot to smack it and it turns around. Contract trying to go in, not landing the stretching strikes or the elastic slingshot. Now getting himself back. High, falcon forward. Trying to find some damage here. Flashes away from Mike Young's counterattack, but they're still looking to make more happen. Stopwatch comes out. Will it buy the time he needs? I do not think so. Bjergsen grabbing the kill on that one as they're going to make it too. The passive will not do enough for contract. You give that one over to Bjerg, you give him the double. He'll be back on the floor. It's one of those big things about the Sichuani. Warmog first. Lorlo though? Oh, Lorlo trying to make that one versus one against Ponser. Play him back to those harsh words before the game here. Turret destroyed. That's finally one turret going down. Golden Guardians getting that one thanks to High. Lorlo trying to run away here. Zvin and Mithy coming in, looking to punish him for trying to force that fight. And Zvin grabs the kill for himself. That's his first kill. TSM executing onto Baron. Got it down under 3k already. Bjergsen throwing out the wall, looking to keep the enemy jungler away. Contracts is prevented entry, and TSM. He gets Sejuani ultied and very clean. Mike Young at that point pretty much doing all the work. That's one of those ones where the jungler is 100% responsible for everything. Bjergsen going on a killing spree here with your main engage, your main tank down. Golden Guardians have to wonder how they're going to survive this. And Golden Guardians, they're going to have to survive against this super minion push on the top side of the map with two minion waves coming in. There's your barrel, Zyrene. The 20 ulti comes down, finds its way on the lower load. Now your other frontliner is dead. TSM looking to put the final Ooh. nail in the coffin and Haunter grabbing the kill onto Matt. The next is turrets the targets. Number one drops TSM, keeping their opponents in the fountain, not letting them anywhere near this defense. The minion wave is still there. The turrets are still falling. Spin goes forward. There's just nothing the Golden Guardians can do. High nearly going to drop, but the Nexus goes first. An 8-0 victory for TSM. The shutout for TSM. Exactly what they wanted to see here up against the Golden Guardians, moving themselves to 2-3. and three and a little bit further from that bottom pack. And that's what we said for TSM this game was about. You need to start finding those wins. Yeah. You to say, yeah, we're that team everybody thinks we are. We're that team that's loaded with this star power that everybody's expecting to live up to the TSM name and go to the playoffs and do all these amazing achievements that you always see TSM being one of the teams in the conversation for who's the best in North America. That's what you got to see. They need to start turning it on, working together as a team. We got to see some great team play from them here. And I really liked seeing Mike Young on the Sejuani. I talked about the Shivana, the Kha'Zix. His champion pick usually was the one that stood out to me as not being synergistic with the composition, mm -hmm. where they could use maybe another tank, right? But I really like the Sejuani here. I like the way that he played it. I like the pressure he exerted on the bottom lane. It kind of made it so that the Golden Guardian's winning lane pick was shut down by all of the pressure from Talia, GP, and the Sejuani to boot. Mm -hmm. Mike Young on the Sejuani, absolutely fantastic. I'm sure we're going to see TSM drafting him some more.